Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your first educational game using TinyTap. TinyTap is a great service. It's been around for almost a decade on iPads, and now you can use it in your web browser as well to create your own game. So let's go ahead and take a look here. I'm signed into my free TinyTap account, and I'm going to create a game. And I'm gonna create just a really simple identification game. Now you can make much more complex games, but for this demo, I'm gonna make just a simple identification game, and it's going to be about ball sports. So what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna use this little search icon, and I'm gonna get a picture of a baseball. Now, I want to point out something that's really neat. I can select royalty-free and no background, and now I've got a picture of just a baseball. And I'll put that right on the screen. You can see I can click and drag and reposition it and resize it as I need. And I like that there's a handy little grid in the background as I'm trying to position this. And now I'm going to also add a football. And I'm going to put that on the screen as well. And I'm going to click and drag to make that one a little bit bigger. And again, line it up on that grid so things are at about the same height on the screen. So now I'm going to close that out. And I want to create an activity for this game. So let's click set activity and I want to just ask a question. I'm going to record my question here. Which one of these balls is used to play American football? And now I'm going to trace the area in the frame where I'm indicating the correct answer. And there's my question. And now I'm going to record my answer right here. Great job. That's right. This is a football used to play American football. And now I'm going to record a response for mistakes or incorrect answers. I'm sorry, that's not right. You've clicked on a baseball, which is used to play baseball. And so now I have my question and my answer choices recorded. And we're going to just click that little button there. And you can see I can add another question if I would like to. And so I'm going to say here, which one of these is used to play baseball? And then I'll draw a circle around the baseball. Click done. And click on question two and record my answer. That's right. You've clicked on the baseball. And I'll record the mistake. Sorry, that's used for playing American football. And now I'll click on Ask a Question. And I have my two questions here, and I'm all done. Now, let's hit this little play button, and we'll preview the game. Which one of these balls is used to play American football? Great job. That's right. This is a football used to play American football. Which one of these is used to play baseball? That's right. You've clicked on the baseball. And so once I've previewed it, if I like it, I'm all done. Now I can 
go to the bottom left corner here. I can add another slide and continue to make this game a little bit longer. But for now, for this demo, I'm just going to click Done. And we'll see there. I can now publish my game. It's called Ball Sports. And we're going to say this is a game to practice identifying identifying the balls used in American sports. And let's put this in the category of phys ed. There is a phys ed sports phys ed category. I'm going to say that's for kids who are ages 7 to 8. And we'll put this under English. And now you can see here, I can make this public or keep it private. I can make it editable by others or not. I can save it as a draft or I can publish it just like that. And once I click that publish button, I've got to be a little bit patient. It takes a minute or two for the game to be live and shareable. And so there's my game loading right there for ball sports. You can see I made another ball sports game a little bit earlier. You can see I have this one here, my other published game. And I can at any time just click on that little button there to assign it or delete the game as well. There's also the option to sell a game. We'll talk about that in a future video. But for now, that's how you can create your first educational game by using TinyTap in your web browser. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.